think what this place is really about is to support the community in any way that we can and provide purposeful and engaging activities for those people that we serve. Not sure what they're bringing. So when we were building this campus, they said, the architect just said, dream, what do you want to do? Hello, kids. We dreamt of the intergenerational program. And so the children from Wurtzies Preschool can interact with the grandmas and grandpas from Lucy Ann's place. The benefits are amazing. Knock, knock. Knock, knock. Who, who's, who's there? Who's there? Uh, Les. Les? Les what? Let's get out of here. Yay! And Jim absolutely loves this place. They play games. They exercise, they sing, they dance, and Tim's very social, so he's right in the middle of everything all the time. Play with the kids. And what ones do you like Look there? Look at that. With dementia, you may not remember what you had for lunch, but you remember the important things. And we started to see the grandmas and grandpas at Lucy Ann's place remember that they interacted with the children. It was, it gives me goosebumps. It's amazing to see that was such an impactful thing for them. I'm delighted. Not only for myself, but for him, because he, he enjoys it here. We have six life enrichment programs, and we really individualize our care. Over the past couple of years, we have definitely gone through a reimagination of them. We've brought in yoga, tai chi. We have a teaching artist named Keith Johnson who comes in to do drumming, so they do drumming circles. Um, everything is engaging, creative arts. <laughs> So Bert's Bistro is our social enterprise that we have here at Benavia. It's actually a for-profit arm of our organization and all the profits feed back into our nonprofit services. They have live entertainment on Friday and Saturday nights and it's a wonderful thing for the community. Here we have our home delivered meals program, which is a fantastic program that we offer to the community. The meals are actually cooked at Burt's Bistro, so it's restaurant quality food, and it's delivered by volunteers in the area. It's about the person served in every aspect of our organization. With Burt's Bistro, it's so wonderful that it's our own restaurant. Um, two of our life enrichment programs are for people with intellectual and cognitive disabilities, and we help teach them job skills. And so through those job skills, they're able to work in our bistro, both in the back end of the bistro and the front end of the bistro. So they may be a hostess, they may be helping prepare some food, helping with the dishes. Um, they're just part of the team over there and they're earning a paycheck for the first time in their lives, which is so exciting. That's awesome. So our home services department is really a neighbor helping a neighbor. If somebody can't get to the grocery store anymore, we have volunteers that will go to the grocery store for you. If someone can't get to the doctor's, uh, doctor's appointment anymore, we can take people to the doctor's appointment. We have friendly visitors. So if somebody's lonely at home, we have a visitor that will come and visit with them and socialize with them, take them to the movies if they want to go to the movies and, and just be their friend. We also have some volunteer handyman too. So if somebody's having a hard time changing a light bulb or changing an air filter or any of that light handyman work, we have the handyman that'll come in. And actually all of our volunteers are vetted so they have a level one fingerprint clearance card and their background checked. So we know we have safe people going into the seniors' homes. That's the garden that they're able to get the resources that they may need to help support their family. Also with Benavia, we have our Home Delivered Meals program, which is a fantastic program that we offer to the community. The meals are actually cooked at Burt's Bistro, so it's restaurant quality food, and it's delivered by volunteers in the area. So it's not just a person just dropping off a meal at someone's door. It's a connection that they have. So they go in and they check on the person to see how they're doing. They might peek in their refrigerator to make sure that they have food or that make sure that they're eating their food. If they don't have any food or if the volunteer volunteer sees any red flags, they're able to come back and, and let our home service, um, home delivered meals coordinator know about it and we're able to send out some resources for that person. So we really want people to age in place gracefully and this is one of the ways we do it. So you